Yeah, boxing was a lot of fun. I had an amateur record of 71 wins with 13 losses, and you can dispute a lot of those losses, but they count. For instance, I had a fight, and I stopped the guy. He's out. I go to the neutral corner. The referee's on kind of eight, turns on, looks at me, sees blood, comes over, brings a doctor in, stop the fight. My, another loss. But that's life. I started out as a middleweight, weighing about 160, 161. Always fighting guys heavier and bigger, especially when they had contests with no rules, no weight class. Yep. Water, still, still water prison, in St. Paul, Minnesota. As a professional, Tommy Brunette and the brothers, they uh, come here. Russ, come on, do an exhibition. We got six rounds with three uh, fighters. They're all professionals. <clears throat> but what they didn't tell me is they had my my uh, pictures and promo package, and they've been trained for me for six weeks, and they give me two days. I fly up and um, go in prison. They're taking pictures and this and that. In the first fight. They ended up knocking him down three rounds piece. The first fight, um, the guy floored me, first round. Um, got back up and I knocked him out. And then the next two opponents were very easy. They ran scared. I fought three guys straight in a row. Ironically, I uh, had a fight with Phil Jackson, but prior to that, the fight, I had a fracture my left elbow in an accident, and just since had surgery on it, was in a cast, and they called me, hey Russ, you want to fight Phil Jackson tomorrow night? I'm thinking, well, there's two problems. I got to make 194, and I'm 170, and I got to do something with the cast on my left arm. So I'm thinking, well, <laughs> It's a no-brainer. I put weights on, weight belt, got that covered, cut the cast off. I'll take the fight. Silver trunks with the black stripes. <laughs> Philip is one good-looking young man. <laughs> that is known as showboating both here and in England. Pushing, shoving, pulling, and that's a wearing our situation. Russell Watson has got the best chin I've seen in a long time because he's got did some real good punches and, and, and Philip Jackson the punch. That's why I asked. Triple G, Crusher, and Sammy Vasquez. <sighs> Boy, they know how to control the ring. They know how to control distance. They know how to hit. They know how to stalk you. And they're relentless, fearless. And they can hit. And they're always in condition. So the greatest thing my boxing ever did for me was give me an opportunity to share my faith in Jesus Christ with others.